Welcome to the Tradies in Business podcast with your hosts, Warwick Bidwell and Nicole Cox. Divert your phone and grab a brew as Waz and Nick unpack tips, tales, secrets and stuff-ups from guests both inside and outside your trade, helping educate and inspire you to break the cycle of gut-busting and money stress and create a true trade business. Hi, Coxie. Easy like Monday morning. Oh, uh, I would break into song if I didn't think it would hurt our ratings. <laughs> yeah, that's why I didn't sing it too. <laughs> but it's playing I'm, in my head right now. It is. I'm sure it is also playing in our listeners' heads as they listen to us on a Monday morning because it it's is. easy. It is easy like a Monday morning. <laughs> <laughs> is, there, is there anything easy about a Monday morning though, Coxie? I like Monday mornings. It is a public holiday though. So, well, for us Queensland and New South Wales people, it is people. a public holiday today. Uh, pretty sure that it's a public Nobody holiday. Cares. It was on Friday for Melbourneites, is it not? Ordinarily would be because well, we have the AFL parade. Does it really matter because they're all locked in their houses anyway? That's true. And even on this early Monday morning, somebody's decided to start up a blower vac. Can you hear it? <laughs> there, there was somebody like that uh, in a house I lived in many, many years ago. And early every morning, fortunately, we can't hear that on your microphone, Coxie. Oh, we, gosh. We I bought the good gear that only picks up your voice, uh, which is why we have these fancy mics. But, um, yeah, they used to drag out the blower vac every morning i was like really do you have that many leaves and does it really matter at 7 a.m come on anywho it's a little early it's a little fresh it's a little you know it is a public holiday i could have a sore head today they've given no consideration to the fact that it is a public holiday yeah come on think about you have a house full of children that should be awake but they're not they're asleep so (laughs) it'd be a good way to wake them up well i'm pretty sure i'm gonna know about it any minute now (laughs) Um, so Monday mornings, other than blower backs, um, which we can't hear Coxie, so you, you don't need to worry. Okay. Although it is nice to see you cupping your microphone too. <laughs> <laughs> I am very content. It is incredibly loud. I can actually barely hear you. It's that loud. These microphones are the bomb. They are very good. Uh, if anybody wants to start a podcast, make sure you invest in good microphones. <laughs> I totally agree. Well, it's, it's like any tool, isn't it, Coxie? You, you know, you want to invest in good kit because it helps you do your job better. There's, there's nothing more frustrating than crappy tools. I totally agree. And I think all our listeners would agree. They don't go and buy the, um, trying to remember the brand. Is it a Zico? Oh, the, the, the Bunnings brand. Sorry. Yeah, Bunnings, yeah. The chibi stuff. Ozito. Yeah. Ozito. That's it. Yeah. yeah. That's fine if you're just zooming the yard from time to time with your blower vac. But if you're doing it on a day to day basis as a professional, you're not going to go with that, are you? Well, not unless you want to keep replacing it and contributing to landfill, which as a. Well, that's a whole nother subject. <laughs> as, a, <laughs> as a responsible and uh, socially conscious tradie in business. I'm sure you don't do that, is subscribe to the throwaway society. I'm sure they don't. I know that you and I don't, and I guess that's the only thing we can talk to. But that's not what we're even talking about today. No. So our segue is the segue from a segue to another segue, which is to to talk about how to be famous. Now, you could be famous if you live next door to Coxie and start up your Ozito blower back (laughs) while she's recording a podcast. Because you'll get a mention. That's one way to become famous. That's true. But there's an even better way these days. And you know what? It's been around since the, the 50s or 40s or whatever. That's the mm. 1950s for, for all the young kids out there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there was a century before this one. Yeah. And um, that is to get yourself on a moving picture. A moving picture. Whoa, you really are showing your age here. A moving picture. (laughs) Now, these days we call them videos. um, And everybody wins a prize when it comes to video, Coxie. Wow. Because it's really easy to do one. I mean, we all have a video camera in our pockets. Most of our kids have video cameras in their pockets. That's a scary thought. Yeah. There's a video camera on every computer. 
there's a whole bunch of them around uh, railway stations and, and bus interchanges, but those ones are just spying on us. Um, but getting yourself on video is such an easy way to become famous and famous people get paid. Famous Do people they? get paid more and sure? they get paid more often. Well, at least pre COVID anyway, I think a lot of, there's a lot of famous people who are wishing they'd banked a bit more of their, uh, their movie money that they got for making films. And there's a few famous people that couldn't, don't even know what's going on because they're just so happily in their mansions with their bazillions of staff that nothing matters actually. Unlike Mm -hmm. us here at Tradies and Business who are not famous, despite (laughs) spending some time on social media. Well, I think, I don't know, Coxie, I'm going to disagree with you there. It's how you define fame. We're pretty famous amongst our community and our tribe, which I know you love that word. I hate it. That was very stereotypical. Sorry to anybody who that may have offended, please go and take a Panadol and lie down. So actually don't take a Panadol because I can't give that advice because I'll get in trouble. Facebook will shut us down for being a health podcast. Would you like to take your foot out of your mouth now? Yeah, well, I'll only put the other one back in. So, <laughs> uh, but we're famous within our community. People know who Nick and Waz are largely. Um, they like talking to us and that only comes about by us being visible. Because if we sat in our offices and just wrote a whole bunch of blog articles, yeah, it's a long burn. That's a long strategy to get known. And I feel like for business owners, there's a fantastic opportunity to get known really quickly by more people and get a message out there and and, uh, I suppose communicate who you are to the right people really quickly by picking up your video phone and uh, laying down some words on your little video camera there. I'm the queen of saying that there's no silver bullet and I'm going to contradict myself. <laughs> it's not really a silver bullet, Coxie. I think it's more of a copper bullet. It's a fast track. It, yeah. and, and video very much is a fast track to make a connection with your potential clients. Absolutely. And it's uncomfortable and it's hard to do. And it makes people, particularly me, I've spent a long time fighting with Warwick about the fact that he wants my face on video and I say no, I say no. (laughs) But with a bit of practice, you can become a little familiar with and can actually drive some fantastic results for you in your trade businesses. Now, Nicole, you have a fantastic first-hand account of does video actually drive engagement? Do I? Yeah. Well, you, when you post videos, what happens? People talk to me. <gasps> oh, that's so scary. People comment and they say things and they identify with my story. They do. But I, yeah, I don't like doing it. It feels like a giant pineapple up the backside. It's uncomfortable. And so much, so many good things. I mean, you're about to move over to an entirely new email platform, Coxie, and that's going to be so good for so many reasons, but it's really uncomfortable for you. Are you just trying to hamstring me on the podcast to agreeing to a new email platform? <laughs> going to mm. back you into a corner. No, I am wise to you. I'm being slightly facetious, Coxie. <laughs> I know you'll never change. So uh, <laughs> thank goodness for uh, remote. Are you glad you live in Tasmania? <laughs> I reckon that would have got a really solid backhander if we were in the same studio. Yep. Kick to the knee. I know that your but knees are a bit sensitive. Video is, um, I, it's one of those things. I think largely people know that it works. They just don't want to admit it because that would mean holding up a camera and getting their face on it. And we've got a number of members who have actually, we've helped with the pineapple. Um, and, uh, it sounds a bit rough insertion of the pineapple jeez it is rough come on let's call it for what it is it hurts well we've shoved a pineapple up a few people's butts and got them to move and make some change and do some stuff particularly with video and um you know a bit of a bit of a theme i guess at the moment we're talking marketing this month um and video is such a powerful part of that uh, and those people who have picked up the uh, the pineapple and run with it and done some video have said, wow, that actually worked really well. I got this out of it or this person responded or I actually even just feel more confident in other settings now because I stuck a camera in my face. Now I actually feel a lot more confident on the phone or when I drop in and talk to people. So 
it's one of those sort of multifaceted tools that it's not just about getting your videos on your social media feed or your website or your Google My Business thing or in emails. There's, a, there's so many ways you can use them. Um, it's actually a really great way to build your confidence in communicating with humans. Okay, but I still feel like a bit of a toss wallop when I'm standing in the middle of the park talking to my phone. So do I. And so I don't do it. I don't stand in the middle of the park and talk on my phone. So you hide somewhere and do it? Often, yeah. I'll go stand where there's no people or they're far enough away that I don't feel like they're going to watch me and judge me and snicker at me. And I quickly knock out a, a video. But you know what, Coxie? Hmm. If, so for, for people listening to this episode who have seen my videos and I've had comments about it, people think I'm th- this guy that doesn't give a toss, just does videos anywhere and everywhere. But I can tell you that is not true. I'm very self-conscious when I do videos out in public because I don't want to be one of those people doing a selfie video on my phone by the thing or out the front of the job site or whatever because that requires a certain level of not giving a, f- a flip about what other people think. And I'm not fully there yet. It's a work in progress as it is for many of us. And I still manage to do enough videos to get connection and drive engagement. And could I do it better? Absolutely. Um, and I never used to do any. And it makes a massive difference to how people engage with us. And it will for you too, listeners. So we're going to drive an opportunity for you to do this pain-free, totally pain-free. You don't need to be embarrassed. You don't need to be uncomfortable. You don't need to be shy. You can let your stellar personality shine in our five-day social media video a day challenge that we're hosting in our Facebook group. Get excited. We're all going to be on the video. I'm excited. So at 7 a.m. every morning for the next five days, Monday through Friday, we will be dropping a daily prompt into our Facebook group. It will be a prompt like tell us dad joke or show us a bit about what you do. Very simple, something to get you familiar with, standing like this. People can't see me. I've just realized <laughs> how full, flat that's going to fall. You standing with a phone out, in your face. Your <laughs> <laughs> guns out, guns out. Standing with a phone in your face and having a chat. Now, we are challenging each and every one of you. There's 2,000 people in that group. I'd be happy if 20 people did it a day, but let's give it a crack. Jump on. Speak to whatever the prompt is. Tell us a silly joke. Tell us a little bit about who you are. Tell it, give us a tour through your van or whatever the prompt might be. Do the video, drop it into the comments. We're going to do a daily prize. So every single day, we're going to choose a different person who's had a crack. This isn't about being the best. The daily prize is about just giving it a go. Somebody's going to get a prize every day. We're going to send you some merch. We've got some pretty awesome merch. We're getting lots of feedback from our drawing board members and above about our awesome merch. So if you want to get your hands on a bit of that, you can even put it into one of your videos that you do later on. Please yes. drop a video a day. And then we're going to have a grand champion at the end of the week. So this will be based on improvement. This will be very much based on who stuck it out for the whole five days, had a crack every day, and we can see an improvement in the video as they go through. Because in the beginning, they're going to be a little bit stilted, uncomfortable. You'll feel weird. You won't talk in a normal voice. It's just bizarre when you start using the camera. But by the end of the week, you should start to feel a little bit more comfortable. Now, remember, this is in a closed Facebook group. The community at large can't see this. This challenge is designed to get you comfortable. We will not take the pee out of you. If you make a mistake, be brave enough to share it anyway. I'll share mine. Warwick's sharing his from holiday, I might add. He'll be sharing yes. his from holiday. That's how important you are to us. <laughs> and we're going to have a crack at this. It's going to be a whole bunch of fun. And we are practicing safe videoing. So oh, we're doing goodness. it behind closed doors in our group where... It's only, it's only the people who drop their keys in the bowl. It's okay. It's all safe. <laughs> We're all friends here. No one's going to talk about it outside the group. <laughs> no sharing. <laughs> and we're all going to use hand sanitizer. So um, <clears throat> the best way to get better at video is to do video. So this is our way of helping you with your pineapple and 
as a good mate coined to me years ago, G I F D N. And you can figure out what that stands for. Cause this is not a potty mouth episode, <laughs> uh, but just get it done, get in, get it done and you'll get better at it. So have a bit of fun with us. Um, this is going to be awesome. And I'm going to try and get creative whilst uh, camped by the seaside. <laughs> I can see some challenges between you and I. This can be fun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and um, we want to see yours. So, oh, there you go. We'll show you yours if you show. We'll huh? show you what? ours if you show us yours. Oh, man, I couldn't even say it, Coxie. That was dreadful. That would have made a terrible video. It would. <laughs> but it would have made people laugh, so that's okay. Bada bing, bada boom. All right. Get on it, gang. Uh, we want you part of it. And uh, we will come back to you with some more episodes soon. Thanks for listening. Hooroo. You've been listening to the Tradies and Business podcast with Warwick Bidwell and Nicole Cox. Find out more about today's guest, tools for your trade business and other cool stuff at tradiesandbusiness.com.au.